Some talented folks have been making Clyde pants hacks out of my Aeronite pants pattern, and I wanted to give you a little tutorial on how to do that. It's pretty easy, so um, I'm gonna link to some of the photos of people who have already made some. You notice the silhouette is pretty different. The Aeronites are best made in a really drapey fabric. I wear mine around the house all the time. They're very, very comfortable. There's lots of ease built into the pattern. But by sizing down a whole bunch, we're talking like four sizes and making some simple modifications to the pattern itself, you can come away with a more tailored um, elastic waist pant look with the same very cool side pockets, the kind of crescent shaped side pockets. So um, here we go. You're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six pattern pieces. So the back, the front, the waistband, pocket facing, side panel, and the pocket piece itself. So don't go, don't worry about cutting out uh, the knit cuff for the, for the leg opening or the elastic cuff. We're going to go ahead and just make the hemmed version, which follows along with the styling of the Clyde pant. And I am not going to lengthen my um, my legs. I'm kind of short. Um, I'm about five three. Well, maybe five four on a good day. So what I did was I cut out the the fronts and the front, the back, and the side panel. And if you need to lengthen it, just slash across this line here, spread it apart, and add in whatever extra length you might need. When choosing your size, go ahead and look at the sizing chart, and then size down about four sizes. So I measure a size eight on um, the typical on our sizing chart, and I'm cutting out a size zero. Although I'm, I did, um, as far as the height on this back and the front piece, I cut that out at a size eight. So, um, I'm just adding, you know, a, a little bit of height to the inseam. You will need to cut out, again, just a, si a size down for the waistband, um, size down for the pocket facing and the pocket. All right, since we added to the rise up here, so the size zero, but with a size eight rise, it's about an inch, um, we are going to need to add that back in for just on the pocket piece. Um, so you can see if we were to sew all these together right now, the top would come out here. So what I want to do is um, measure what that distance is here between the eight and the zero, um, or you could do it up top there. And then go ahead and extend this pocket piece by whatever that is. We're gonna say for me it's about an inch. So I cut a uh, horizontal line perpendicular to the grain line here um, and then added another piece of tissue paper um, an inch making the whole pocket piece an inch longer. The other thing that I want to do here to get a more tapered leg um, consistent with the Clyde pants pattern is I'm going to go ahead and take out some of the width along the side seams and the front and back seam. That's going to be three seams total for each pant leg. Um, and I'm gonna be taking a quarter of an inch off the width of each of these pattern pieces. So the side panel, the front, and the back. I'll show you what that looks like. This is the side panel piece and you can see I've measured a quarter of an inch in on this side and I'm going to go ahead and redraft that edge. I'm going to meet, um, meet it up right around where the double notches are on the back of that side panel piece. Um, so quarter of an inch at the bottom and I want it to meet back up at the regular side seam uh, up by that double notch. I should say that for me, on the size zero, the double notch is about 11 and 3 eighths of an inch from the bottom of the pant. So I'm going to go ahead and make my, my meeting point 11 and 3 eighths of an inch from the bottom of the leg on this side. Same with the front pant, um, you know, make my meeting point up, up here so that um, the taper is even. 
And as you can see on the front and the back pants, you don't have that same sort of um, angle as you do on the side seam. So instead of going at 11 and 3 8 you're just going to taper in ever so slightly until you run out of space. Okay, so you can see the modifications I made on the bottom of the pant legs. I'm gonna go ahead and um, cut this extra width out. Now we are going to take uh, some extra width out of the pocket facing and the side panel. So go ahead and um, in the middle of the pattern piece, at the bottom, um, draw a line parallel to the grain line um, down the middle. Here's the trickiest part of the whole thing. So I've gone ahead and cut along that line that I drew and now I'm going to lay the pocket facing over the pocket pattern piece, um, align them on the bottom here, and then see if I can do this while filming. I'm going to smush these two sides together like so. I want to really, I'm kind of like redrafting the pocket facing piece to be the same width as the pocket. Um, and from there, I'm going to, I'll show you that in a little bit, um, but at this point you have a decision to make. Do you want your pocket to pop out a little at the hips? Um, the Aronite pants uh, have quite a bit of space between the pocket and the side panel, so if you want them to stick out a little bit, you'll want to still leave some space here. Before I redraft this pocket facing piece, I'm going to measure the length of that line that I, um, that cutting line that I created in the center of the pocket facing. So this was seven and a half inches long. And then I'm going to go and do the same over here on the side panel. I'm going to find the center of the piece, um, measure down seven and a half inches and draw that cutting line and then cut it, um, slash it and overlap the pattern in the same way that I did the pocket facing. Um, I'll show you that in a moment. Here's the side panel. I've slashed it and I've lined it up on top with the bottom of that um, line right at the bottom edge of the pocket. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the pocket facing. I'm going to bring this in until it is the same width as the pocket piece and then retape. So once you do that, you'll notice that you have some bunching down here. I go went ahead and cut perpendicular to the grain line, this grain line, um, and um, I'm gonna overlap. All right, here is your new side panel piece. Um, you've slashed right here and here and brought in that extra um, width and gone ahead and taped it up. So we're about ready. We just have to move on to the pocket facing and straighten out this bottom edge. I've taped the pocket facing piece to just a extra piece of tissue paper here and uh, I'm going to match this uh, bottom edge right here with a point where you overlapped the fulcrum um, and I'm going to bring the pocket piece over and line it up with that little point and then you'll be able to see here there's about oh three quarters of an inch for me on either end so I'm going to just trace around the bottom of this pocket piece um, and and add back on that extra tissue paper here's the redrafted pocket facing the bottom there and the last thing you're going to need to do for both the pocket facing and the side panel is to um, redraw the pocket curve here. So you're going to want to, you know, put a little put a little piece of extra paper back here and kind of approximate um, a more nuanced curve since you, you brought in all that, um, you took that wedge out. Um, and, and that's it. Oh, I should mention, I'll show you what it looks like at the end, but you want them, the curves on these to match. So go ahead and do those at the same time are the pocket pieces, the side panel and the pocket facing redrawn. They're the same curve and now you can go ahead and sew up your Clyde Pants Aeronite hack just as written in the pattern. There's There should be no changes. You're going to be doing the hemmed version instead of the knit or the 
woven cuff. Apologies for my less than pristine hacked pattern piece, my cat chewed on it, <laughs> but I did forget to mention that since you make this adjustment here, uh, bringing the pattern piece down, mine's about three quarters of an inch, that's going to shorten this uh, side panel piece. So you're going to need to lengthen it um, another three quarters of an inch, just matching the amount that you took out here when you made that adjustment. And yes, better to err on the side of too long than too short. You can always hem them up. I like to cut, be able to cuff mine too. So next time I make them, I will make them a little longer. If you have any questions as you're working through this hack, please send us an email, support at soliberated.com, and uh, we will be happy to help you out.